Behind me is a 2019 27 inch iMac. I'll show you my about screen about this Mac. This is a Retina 5K 27 inch 2019 Mac. It's the, I believe that's the base model, three gigahertz Intel Core i5. This computer is incredible. Best computer I've ever owned. It's everything I wanted it to be. I use it every single day. I edit video every single day. But one thing that I did do is I bought the base that I had to buy to get the 27 inch iMac because it was just a lot of money. It was a big expense. I got eight gigabytes of memory and I thought it was gonna be enough. I really did. I found whenever editing video that if I use a lot of, if I bring in, if I import like a lot of picture in picture type stuff, I find that I run out of memory and whether I'm using iMovie or Final Cut Pro, the thing will just crash sometimes, especially when I'm bringing in a lot of different elements and I think I'm running out of memory. So I did a little research and I found out that I actually have a little user accessible panel right here where you can easily upgrade the RAM. So that's what I'm gonna do today actually bought this ram right here and there will be a link for it down below i bought this owc 32 gigabytes is 2 by 16 and it's 137.99 on prime the ram is here i'm going to open it up i'm going to disconnect the imac set it down on a towel here and we're going to see how easy or hard it is to upgrade this memory all right here we go owc 32 gigs all right i've got a big It's a little nerve-wracking this is the panel that needs to come off and the cool thing is I think you're just supposed to press there's a little button right above where the power connects and you're supposed to just be able to press on that and it pops this cover up which it just did and as you could tell I've never done this before this is my first time ever doing this and yeah the covers right there comes off nice and easy and I have two RAM sticks in here so there's two little things here and here. Try not to block you guys. Just pull out on them. And then this whole thing comes forward and we're in banks one and three. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove this RAM and sell it on eBay. I only need 32, I don't need 40. And I don't love mixing the RAM anyway. So I'm gonna take it out. Kind of stiff in there one and three and also note the short number of pins is on the left larger number of pins on the right i'm going to remember that whenever i put the new sticks in okay here's the ram oriented just like the one that i took out and we're going into slot number three first it's fully seated here's the other one going into slot one and it is also fully seated. So now I'm gonna close it down. Positive click, these both lock into place. I think we're good. Replace the cover. And that should be that. Let's see if we can power this thing on. Everything's connected. Let's power this thing on. Let's see what happens. Ooh, got the Apple. As I would expect. Let me go to my About screen. About this Mac. About this Mac. 32 gigs. 2667 DDR4. Yes. Way easier than I ever would have expected to change that RAM out. So if you're a novice at doing anything like this, I don't think this is a bad first computer type upgrade to attempt. They, it couldn't have been any easier, honestly. There is a link to the RAM I use down below, or you can click on that and you may see some other brand that might be a better price right now or uh, whatever. The reviews on this brand look pretty good. That's why I went with it. I'm gonna sell the 
two four gigabyte modules on eBay, probably for about $30 for the two, for the pair. And it'll bring my upgrade expense from uh, 137 down to just a little bit over 100. And that's a little bit better than Apple's price, right? You know what Apple charges for this upgrade when you buy the machine? $600. <laughs> so anyways, thanks for watching guys. Bye-bye.